So my last video for 2017, I wanted to make it about something I'm pretty excited about. And that something is flat packs. Now, if you remember early this year, I actually did a video about flat packs and snaps. Throughout 2017, flat pack in particular has come a long ways, and so has the IDE Builder. Now, if you haven't guessed from the title, this video we're going to be creating a flat pack with Builder. Specifically, we're going to be taking an old crummy game I wrote a pretty long time ago, and we're going to turn it into a flat pack. Really, the purpose of the video is to show how far flat pack has come this year, and to show how easy it is to create and distribute your own flat packs. So let's get started. Now I think a lot of people associate Flatpak with Red Hat or Fedora, so for this video I'm actually going to be using Manjaro as my development environment. All I did off camera to get started was download the required development packages, so that's Git, the GTK development headers, the Vala compiler, the latest version of GNOME Builder, and a package called Flatpak Builder. The name of the game I wrote is called Vibbles, and it's a really, really crappy Nibbles clone written in Vala. It was actually the very first Vala application I ever wrote. I originally wrote it to use the make build system, but with Builder and Flatpak, I rewrote the build system from make to Mison. So yeah, this is Vibbles. Let's make it work as a Flatpak. So the latest and greatest version of Builder can always be had as a Flatpak itself, and you can find it on the Flathub website. In this video, I'm using GNOME Builder 3.26.2. So the way I'm going to do this is create a brand spanking new Vala project. It's a GNOME application, and I'm basically going to port Vibbles into it. So if it's your first time building a new project with Builder, it's going to download some Flatpak runtime, specifically Platform and the SDK itself. If it doesn't download the runtimes automatically, you can click the little hamburger here and tell it to download the runtimes manually. These runtimes are pretty big and the process took a pretty long time. So now that those runtimes are done downloading, let's scope out some of the boilerplate code. So the template Vala app that Builder sets up for you is basically a very, very simple hello world. But an interesting thing is that it uses a UI file, which is XML. Unlike a lot of the Vala samples and tutorials out there, the UI for this little hello world application is built with XML instead of raw Vala. So we can build and launch the application in Builder. And you may notice that in the build output, there's a GTK update icon cache. It's a red error message and it looks bad, but it actually doesn't do anything. And you can safely ignore it. All right, let's get to turning Vibbles into a flat pack. The way I originally set Vibbles up was the assets, or specifically these images, were read directly from the file system. In flat pack land, eh, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna use this G resource file, and we're going to add entries in this XML file for each of our resources. But before I do that, I need to change the indentation because the defaults are kind of insane. So I've added a new entry for each of the resources. And at the top of this block, notice the prefix equals org gnome vibbles. That's the namespace that these resources are going to use. All right, now the next step is to replace everything in the main.vala. So once I've done that, I'm going to rebuild. However, when I run it, I get a runtime exception. It can't open the file. Because I've added the assets as G resources, I need to make a couple changes here. Instead of the pix buff coming from a file, we're going to have it come from a resource, and that resource is going to use that namespace org gnome vibbles. But once I've done that, I can rebuild and launch the game. So, so far we've converted vibbles from using the make system to the Mison system. Now we need to make just a few more changes to get it built as a flat pack. Basically, we just remove the boilerplate files that we're not going to use, like the window.ui, and remove all the old references from the mison.build file, and that is pretty much it. Vibbles is ready to be packaged and distributed as a flat pack. Now go to the build preferences and you can see that it's being distributed with the org.gnome.platform runtime. Now if you were to install Vibbles on your own system, you would need to make sure that this flat pack runtime is also installed, otherwise Vibbles won't work. All of this was set up for me when I started the project. I didn't have to change any of this. So we'll go to the top here and click Export Bundle. Once it's done, I'll get a notification at the top that says my flat pack is ready. And here it is. I've got my very own flat pack. Now here on Manjaro, I actually had to install this flat pack using the command line tool, Flat Pack Install. However, on Fedora, I was able to just double click the flat pack and install it through GNOME software. You can see that Vibbles shows up as a registered application in the app launcher. And it also shows up in GNOME software. So yeah, I hope this video helps demonstrate just how easy it is to make or even port your GTK application into a flat pack. 
Now obviously there's lots of benefits to distribute your application as a flat pack. Specifically if you package your runtimes correctly, your application will run on any distribution that implements flat pack. Still, in 2017, and probably going into 2018, one of the most common complaints from developers, and especially game developers, as to why they won't target Linux, is because there's just so many distributions. And in my opinion, packaging methods like flat packs and snaps nullify that argument. And you can see how Builder makes the whole process super easy. It sets up most of the flat pack infrastructure for you. Hell, you can even select your runtime in Builder. So if your application is not a GNOME application, just target a different runtime. But anyways, that's enough of that. I'm going to wrap this video up now. I hope you guys really like this video because Flatpak is something I'm really excited about for 2018. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And of course, thanks for watching.